first principle of universal design for learning directs us to provide multiple means of representation. This helps promote an inclusive learning environment on many levels. When developing a course and focusing on this principle, there are three guidelines to follow. They are 1. Perception 2. Language and Symbols 3. Comprehension We're now going to take a deeper look. The first guideline, perception, in many ways overlaps with creating accessible content. When creating content, be sure that interaction is flexible and does not solely depend on one's sense for its delivery. As you develop the material, be sure that you can meet the following criteria. 1. Have the option to customize the display of information. 2. Have alternatives to auditory information. 3. Have alternatives to visual content. A picture can state a thousand words, but not if you can't see it. Meeting these criteria will reduce barriers to learning. Key information will be equally perceptible to all learners by providing the same information through different modalities and providing information in a format that will allow for adjustability by the user. Multiple representations not only ensure that the information is accessible to learners with disabilities, but also easier to access for other learners from varying backgrounds.